It's the oldest trope in the book. There's something weird going on in the mines. Can you guys go and check it out? So, I'm going to show you how to build some mine tiles. Well, they're not mine. They're yours, but they're mine tiles. The tiles belong to you. They don't belong to me. They are just mine. The tiles are of a style that is... We we'll begin, as always, with double corrugated cardboard foundations. For this style of tile, it's easy. The foundation is always two and a half light by two and a half light, perfect square. And we apply corrugation cladding. Now use a ruler and draw a line from corner to corner both ways. This will give you the dead center of the tile. From that point, just roughly freehand draw some lines to identify the four spaces. Now we'll apply some white PVA glue in puddles to make the spaces and dump some decorative sand onto the glue. And we'll set that aside overnight to dry. Now identical to the cavern tiles from episode 28, we're going to cut a strip of single corrugated cardboard about a half inch wide with the corrugation aligned vertically as shown. And we'll bend this into the shape of the wall and then hot glue it on. Now we'll cover the exposed corrugation with white glue and dip it in sand. And then we'll coat each side of the wall with white glue and dump sand on that as well. And finally we'll make one or two puddles of white glue up against each side of the wall and place some pebbles in them to make a rock pile. And we set this aside overnight to dry. Base in black. Now I'm going to use slate gray, which is not my normal dungeon medium gray. This is ever so slightly blue. I'm going to dry brush it on the entire tile except for the narrow flat areas between the spaces and the corrugation cladding. I leave those a flat black. And then I'll take some purple and pick out one or two stones in each rock pile. And then I'll do the same with some blue. A tip on the white glue, if the glue is warm it will spread out a lot and, uh, and the squares could possibly run together. You can see I was worried about that so I applied my sand very quickly. Uh, as a result the gaps between the squares are kind of large, larger than I'd like. If I had this to do over that's what I would do better. So this is set up as an underdark with the blue and purple, though of course your mileage may vary depending how you paint it. Uh, this could make a viable alternative to the cavern tiles we did back in episode 28. Uh, the sand on the wall just gives so much detail to these tiles. So what I'm really trying to say is that the tiles are made by you, owned by you, kept and stored by you, and used by you. They are your tiles in every sense of the word. It's just that they're... My, all right. Let's recapitulate. Possession is really sort of an artificial construct in itself, isn't it? John Lennon said it best. So.